Greens family, Bomani Tamba here, live on Revolution Camp. I am here on the streets of East Legon and I am just full of energy. So what I'm here to talk about is a higher level of education. We have to educate the youth them so they can compete. Dead serious, you know what I mean? So here I'm just going to show you one of the schools that they have here on Boundary Road in East Legon. So it is a Sunday, so no, naturally the school is not open. But this looks like some kind of expansion. They put age three months to ten years. So those who want to move to Africa and want to pay the big top dollars, these are some of the schools. This one says British Curriculum Montessori System. You know, and this is why we push the energy in Jahazi that we're going to build our own incredible black power school. Because you know, some of these schools that say British and things like that, are they really trying to educate our children for, for upliftment? Not really. Uh, it's kind of the same old thing. It's um, the brainwashing system continues. So in order for us to educate our children to the highest level, we need black scholars, black educators at the highest level to really push incredible black programs that's going to teach our children to be the greatest scientists engineers in the world and teach them the greatest level of technology and business administration which you know that's i'm a product of technology and business administration to the highest level that's how we run all these companies and business that we do you know the brain drain has affected us as a people taking some of our best minds away from the african continent over the last several hundred years so as we see certain schools as you see them they're, they're building their energy you know so remember family, remember I just said, it said British. You even got a wicked British Empire flag up here. You know, I'll always say, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll always add the British as one of the wickedest empires and the wickedest people on this planet. You know what I mean? So I don't give them too much credit or respect. Yeah? There are people that's trying to hold on to their power, but little they know is... Babylon, your system is falling. You know, I have a great Peter Tosh song that I, you know, I wish I could play for y'all. Yeah. You know, Peter Tosh is only the greatest reggae singer that ever existed. You know? So again, family, this one is called Brain Hill, and I would love to see us put our energy together and join us in the force of Jihadzi to build an incredible energy. And you know, I'm always telling people, I'm a product of technical school, so you know, when we build our schools, the children are gonna learn every aspect of aviation, uh, technology from electronics and so on, to business uh, administration, business management, and also, you know, we're gonna tap into the world of real estate development and real estate acquisition, and you know, real estate in general. Because we're the people, we literally can't limit ourselves. You know, so yes, Babylon, your system is falling. And in order for Babylon's system to fall, we as a people must build a new system. We as a people must build something to where our children are going to be productive, to where we're working for the development of our own versus making our oppressors rich and our oppressors you know, great and successful. You know, as I talk about the five wicked empires, the British, the French, the Spanish, the Portuguese, and the Dutch. And you know, you can add on a few more to that. These are the nations that have worked hard to dominate the world and also have corrupted the minds of our people to where our people have nothing but hate to where, you know, we literally just work against our own progress. But you know, family, as an underdog in this revolution and as an underdog in this movement, we don't give up. You kick us down, we're only gonna get back up and fight stronger. Like I tell people, you know, throughout all the things that we have been through, we don't stop fighting. You know, what don't kill us will only make us stronger. And uh, you know, since we're still here breathing and living, we're not gonna let anything stop us. We're gonna keep on fighting. 
So I'm telling people, join a fight with us because I got to think about our children, not just my child, our children. And we have to think about what's the future of our children. We want our children to run empires and enterprises. We don't want our children to be slaves to the Chinese, the Indians, and the Lebanese. We want our children to be the greatest people of a lifetime. But family, in order for our children to be the greatest people of a lifetime, we have to put the work in right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm 45 years old. I've been in this movement since I was in my mid-20s. You know, and I gave up my great career in the U.S. Navy as an aircraft technician. I gave up my great career as an aircraft technician working for the airlines. But it's all good because I've been able to build entrepreneurship across three business. And I've been able to put more of my energy into supporting black-owned en enterprise and uplift my brothers and sisters to where we can work together and get more black people into business. So this is the war that's going on right now, the warfare. You know, so I tell people, join us because our children lives are at stake because what i'm seeing right now in africa is basically if we don't invest and build our own enterprise is we're just going to be slaves to everybody else we're just going to be working for everybody else we're going to be going to everybody else's school system getting so-called educated which is literally seriously a miseducation so this is the miseducation of the negro now we have the international school now is this school really educating our people more than likely not but you know who am i to judge i don't have a school yeah, well, I do have Bomani Technology, which has always been an independent operation to train technology and provide technology services and consultation, you know, which is a small operation always. But, you know, I'm a product of the grassroots, and I love the grassroots because the grassroots is real. But from the grassroots, we need to build up a strong future. What's up with all these international schools? Are they really educating our people? It's Sunday, so there's really nobody to bother me because... Other than that, they'd be like, hey, you can't be recording over here and talking about our school. Well, hey, I just did. So, you know, so family, you have one of your, your brothers that's dedicated to you. I love black people. I love my folks. From, originally from Kingston, Jamaica. Grew up in Brooklyn, New York. You know, built my career in the U.S. Navy in Virginia and expanded my career there in Atlanta, Georgia. And then from there on, just built an independent operation from Georgia all the way to Africa and back. And one of the things I'll always push is for us to use the infrastructure and use the opportunities that we have to build careers. Build careers so we can work towards building entrepreneurship. And while I'm walking, just giving you a nice view of this beautiful neighborhood, East Lagan. Some part of it is well developed and some part of it is in the process of development. And there's nothing like taking a beautiful walk in a beautiful neighborhood like this because you know you get some good exercise. And you know? that's why, and people like, you know, when people hear about me being in this business, they, 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 sometimes people think I'm an old man. I'm like, no, nah, family, I started in this movement as a young man. <laughs> so I'm always encouraging our generation to get involved at a young age. You know, the young age when give your best years to, to entrepreneurship and the movement. Don't wait till you're old and gray and you can barely walk and move. Now, we can still do some things, you know, especially when you invest your financial resources. But at the same time, too, we need fighters and warriors to get out there and do the work. So that's what we're doing, family. It's been, it's been a beautiful experience. I mean, I'm talking about family. 17 years of being in Africa. So, excuse me, 17 years of being in Ghana, 19 years in Africa. So, you, you know, we're you looking at almost two decades. And, you know, for those who thought that this was uh, something, oh, this, oh, this brother's just excited. He's just, you know, he's just into this because they're talking about black power, pan-Africanism. They're reading books and they're doing study groups. That people literally thought that, but I was like, nah, family, I'm, I'm a dedicated person. You know what I'm saying? You talk about the same person that, that, that saw allegiance to the United States Navy as an 18-year-old person and learned an incredible amount of things to where I'm like, yo, I see, I, see, I, I see these people doing their thing. Now, hey, I need to put my energy in life into work with my own people so we can build you know, greatness. And as I'm walking again, because you can see, I'm showing you literally there's another international school. So these are places that we have, very expensive, that they have to indoctrinate our, our children. No, but I'm telling you, Bomani Technology Institute, 
It's something that, you know, you know I, I, I've been able to build on a small scale, but we're going to build it to a high level. Because you, you're talking about somebody that's been able to be privileged to learn advanced aviation and advanced electronic technology since I was 13 and advanced aviation since I was 18 in the U.S. Navy. And I take those things serious, you know. I had to be a very competitive young man and I had to just learn the written and the spoken uh, language from just being 11 from Jamaica and, and, you know, and being here in the sixth grade in New York and having to compete. And I just, after surviving all of I feel it's time for me to unleash my energy on the world and be a world leader and work with my brothers and sisters to create a better future for our children, a competitive future to where we guide and lead the future with our destiny. So what do you see is this international schools and more international schools that none of us own. None of us own. You can't tell me this is owned by Ghanaians or owned by Americans. Black Americans are owned by black people from the Caribbean or owned by black people in general. It is not the reality. So across the world, our children are being indoctrinated by everybody else and miseducated. And that's why I have issues with a lot of people when I run into them, whether they're uneducated or they're so-called so educated. Because your education is supposed to uplift and empower you to build a future for your people. But it just, it just depends on who's teaching. Now I'm not knocking these places. These are all beautiful uh, uh, international schools. Very impressive. You know, I just want to give them their respect and their props. Don't want to just sit here and just make videos and just dog people out because I don't have an international school and, uh, and things like that. But just want to let us know, family, that I'm looking to reach out to the rest of us so we can work together, so we can build a future for our children. Because once we build our own curriculums, our curriculums is developed, is designed to build the future for us. So as we see more development here, and once you're looking across the spin text, the soccer field, and all of what I'm showing you in the next year is going to be incredibly beautiful. But family, that's, you know, that's what we do here, live on Revolutionary Cam. I've been holding these camcorders and cameras since all the way back to 2004, when I was in uh, Senegal in March and Egypt in 2004, which you know, next year marked my 20th anniversary of Revolutionary Cam. And my goal was always to show you what's going on in Africa, show you updates, show you documentation, show you the future of our beautiful Africa, show you an Africa that people just don't understand. You know, so beyond just the beauty of it, you know, I would love to just connect with more business people, investors, so we can work together, so we can build something incredible in Africa for us. And the, the part of Africa that I'm talking about, family, is there in Jahadzi, right there in the central region of Ghana. We have a whole town that we, we can, that we can build something completely exceptional, something completely on the highest level that the world have never seen. A group of pan-African brothers and sisters from so many black aspects of the world. And that's the, one of the things that, that make our community strong. We have so many people from so many different parts of the black world that are coming together and building a future. But you know, we always need help and support. So I'm always telling my grant writers, my nonprofit people, and the people that are visionaries, work with us. Let's stick together because we are stronger together. And then the most important thing is we have to think about our children. And as I'm walking to show you more of this beautiful neighborhood, beauty, beauty, and more beauty. Exceptional, exceptional. I remember coming here a while back and there was nothing here. And literally everything I'm showing you because I've been only coming to this neighborhood for over, you know, over a decade. You, know, you got Mamma Mia, you know, Italians doing their thing. Exceptional, exceptional. Yeah, so that's how people look. Look at these nice vehicles. 
Huh? We got some ballers and shot callers in this neighborhood. And this street is named after the country Rwanda and their popular city called Kigali. This is a super big building right here. This thing. It'd be perfect for one of our headquarters, right? Exceptional stuff. Then what you see right here is this beautiful complex right here. That's what I love Ghana. It's just, it's, just, it's just a beautiful country. Development, energy. I just want to see more of us come and work together to, to build something to where we have black ownership. And just because you're in a black country don't mean that everything there is black owned or black invested. So that's where we come in. And you got some music over here jamming. But as you can see, this is a beautiful modern day area. So family, once again family, this is Bomani Tamba here. Walking on Boundary Road in Isagon and I've shown you all aspects of this, the beauty, the development, and other things going on. Exceptional. Yeah, they, they, they jammed over there. <laughs> Family, the journey continues. Keep supporting Africa for the Africans, and let's keep on building black power to build a black nation and a black future for all black people, for our children, and let's keep it strong. <laughs>